and my admirable fellow committee member who will prepare uh, for this event. Ladies and gentlemen, Exotech is the experience of teaching international classes for us. As we committed, deliver only with best, the best for our students. So preparing them to be internationally well competent is always in our agenda. Therefore, last year, Exotic was held with professor from Poland. And this year, Exotic back again with wider experience and of course, collaboration. Therefore, it is a delighted moment that our guest speaker from Asia University in Taiwan, Prof. Seng Cheng Chi, was a agreed to share his experience in front of us and space design and also form and space design in this moment. So in the collaboration between the Bali Institute of Design and Business, Budiluhur University <laughs> Jakarta, and of course our Asia University Taiwan, this event was held to open up international insight and network for both lecture and student. Let us applause together for Exotic 2022. Okay, thank you. And allow me to close this with Paramasanti, Om Santi, Santi, Santi Om. Wassalamualaikum warahmatullahi wabarakatuh. Well, greeting for all of us. Thank you. Thank you, Dr. Suryani. Next, we'd like to invite the Rector of Bodiluhur University, Dr. Insinyur Wendy Usino, MM, MSE, who is here to give us his remarks. Dr. Wendy, you may begin. Okay, hey, thank you very much. Assalamualaikum warahmatullahi wabarakatuh. Shalom, Om Swastiastu, Namo Buddhaya, Salam Kebajikan, Salam Sehat, and Salam Bodiluhur. First, I would like to express my gratitude and appreciation to EDB Bali and also to the speakers in this exotic event, uh, Professor Che, which is uh, who is uh, already joined us and will share his knowledge to our student in Indonesia, either from University of Budiluhur and from EDB Bali. Uh, this event, uh, the second event that Universitas Budiluhur and IDB Bali collaborate in order to make our student become more more uh, uh, more knowledge from international uh, resources or international speaker to make them become uh, more uh, re become ready to give um, to have an experience and knowledge that they can use in their work in the future. I hope this program will be fruitful for all the students, also to the lecturer of Asbudulur and also from EDB Bali. So in the next future, we can make a more uh, better program in order to give our student and lecturer uh, good experience and good knowledge. I would like to thanks also to the moderator, uh, Ms. Yori Pusparani, who also uh, is lecturer of Universitas Luhur. Uh, uh, this time she's studying uh, in Asia University of Taiwan in order to get her PhD over there. And I hope this event will be uh, inter uh, inter interested to all of us and success to all of us. Thank you very much. Wassalamualaikum warahmatullahi wabarakatuh. Om Santi Santi Om. Salam berdiluhur. Thank you, Dr. Wendy. With that said, Let's take a photo first before we proceed.
Everyone, please come around the stage to, to take a photo together. Oke, okay, uh, Mas Irfan, tolong diambil foto, Bapak Ibu, Prof. Sen, uh, we can take a picture for the uh, this ceremony. Uh, mohon Bapak Ibu dinyalakan kameranya. Tolong delete ya, Mas Irfan. Open the camera, please. All participant and Baik, okay. semua partisipan yang ada di online, silakan dibuka kameranya. Kita akan ambil sesi foto bersama untuk dokumentasi. Sudah bisa, Mas Irfan? Silakan dimulai. Masih opening kamera. Oke. Okay. Oke. Okay. Hello, yuk. Let's take a picture together. We don't have much time. Please come forward right now. Hello, over there, my children. Let's come forward. Pak James juga sibuk di sana di venue. Mungkin sudah bisa kita ambil gambar. Oke, okay, ini uh, saya foto yang di. Zoom dulu aja berarti ya. Hmm. Okay, di siap. per 10 aja, Mas Irfan. Per 10 Kenapa? fotonya. Uh, yang view-nya, view-nya di, diatur uh, per 10 aja atau per 15 gitu, biar agak-agak gede fotonya. Jadi yeah, jangan kecil-kecil. Itu di bisa di setting di mana ya, Mas? Uh, di... Di view kalau nggak salah. Di view. View. View-nya itu kan ada dua ya. Speaker sama galeri. Galerinya itu bisa kita tampilkan. Uh... Atau Mbak Yori bisa bantu, Mbak? Saya lagi pakai ini ya. Oke. Okay. Nggak bisa ya pakai. Yang ada aja. <laughs> Seperti yang di sana ya. juga udah okay. mulai foto. Biar bisa dimulai okay. acaranya. Oke, okay. okay, tag satu halaman dulu ya. Oke, okay. okay. tiga, dua, satu. Izin Bapak Ibu mungkin uh, bisa salam budi luhur. <laughs> mungkin bisa dibantu Mbak Yuri ke profnya. Salam budi luhur. Tiga, dua, satu. Oke, okay, thank you. Thank you Bu Suryani, thank you Pak Wendy. Thank you Bu Namiro Vera, thank you Mr. Shin. Mr. Shin. Oke. Sorry. Okay then, let us take no more of your time and proceed towards the main event. Handing over the reins to our moderator for the event today, Ms. Yori Pusparani, MDS. Everyone, a round of applause for Ms. Yori, our moderator today from Budiluhur University. Okay, good afternoon everyone. Welcome to today's event, Exotic Experience of Teaching International Class 2022. Let me introduce myself. My name is Yori Pusparani. I'm, I come from Budiluhur University. And currently, I'm a PhD student in Asia University, Taiwan. Before we begin, 
I would like to introduce our speakers today. Professor, let me introduce you to our audience. Thank you. Okay. <laughs> Professor Si Seng Cheng is an associate professor and head department of interior design, School of Creative Design at Chia University, Taiwan. He is graduated in National Chao Tung University in Doctor of Civil Engineering. His experience is Mingtao University as assistant professor and head of department 2010 until 2012. Also, Mingtao University as assistant professor 2009 until 2010. And his expertise is architecture design, AI building information modeling, digital design, and digital construction or digital modeling and fabrication, media and interactive design and product design. Okay, that's all from our speakers today. And he, uh, today he will present about design in space for all of you in uh, online or offline in audi auditorium, maybe in IDB's Bali. While our speakers present his presentation, I would like to remind you guys, uh, if you are online, uh, you can mute your mic and if you are able to open your camera, it's super okay to see your handsome and beautiful face, okay? And after our speaker finish his presentation, if you have any question, just open your mic or you can type in our chat room and introduce your name and also your department. Okay, Professor Chi, let me say hello to you. Hello, yeah, sure. Professor, how are you? Hi. So Hi. I want uh, to share my screen or what? Okay, share after my screen, I will. Okay. okay, okay. Okay, share my screen. Okay, everyone, without further ado, I would like to welcome our presenters to start his presentation. To Professor Sean, time is yours. Okay, thank you, Yuri. Thank Lovely you. Yuri teacher. <laughs> okay. <laughs> I'm very, very happy uh, when I have uh, this chance, the opportunity to uh, Bali. Uh, I very urgent, uh, I hope I can visit Bali in my person. Oh, so maybe ne next time we can meet each other in Bali. And today I, I actually have a very important meeting uh, at the uh, 14, uh, 10. Uh, so I only have maybe 40 minutes to share with all, uh, everyone in this topic. I uh, would like to share everyone with uh, visual design and thinking in space. Uh, let's begin. Uh, I already have uh, introduction now, so I skip this one. <laughs> Uh, I have a uh, very lovely uh, uh, PhD learning school in Jiao Tong University. And now I'm uh, in Asia University now. And I have three topics today. However, I only have 40 minutes. So I must <laughs> skip the third part. Uh, I will uh, provide another uh, video Maybe I uh, have a step-by-step -step video for the uh, third part. So today I will focus on the first one and second one. Uh, first one is the type of the wayfinding sign. How do we design the wayfinding sign? Uh, the second one is the principle of the signature design. Now, we all already know the sign is very uh, important. When you visit the airport or highway or any uh, public space, you need have a signature or a direction to tell you how to get your uh, destiny. So did the text-based message help you at the critical junctures? This is very important. Uh, design in space. So the wayfinding rely on a system of sign, signal and other visual cool to settle uh, from point A to point B. So the first one I will uh, quote the urgent white 
who is the uh, American School and University of Medicine, uh, who is a wayfinding expert. Uh, he uh, point out the some direction. Uh, maybe uh, four groups have the wayfinding. One is the identification. Second is the directional sign. Third is the informational sign, and last one is a regular sign. First, identification signs. At the name applies, identification signs identify very uh, important information in the space. These signs do not provide direction only. Instead, they may serve as a kind of you are here. Who is at the location or locate is a very important who the design will not let you uh, get lost. The, de uh, the design nation or that users know when they have arrived at the destination. <coughs> so how we can provide a good design to share you, you are here. This is the most important identification signs. Here is a, some uh, example. When we visit a entrance, maybe we will have a great signs to tell who you are a rival, don't we? And maybe you have a sign design to tell visitor you are in the logistic department or other place. And some other people, we care about the will of a uh, uh, worker can visit somewhere, have a, maybe uh, with a gentle and for girl or for, for men. <clears throat> Another size, we have a map design. A map can be uh, lots of information in, on, on it. Especially, we need to point out you are here. So a map can be uh, informational, means you in the map, on the map, in somewhere. Then, can you see the way to exit or enter some space? This is very important. When some alert, maybe a fire, get fire. So you need get out the space. So the end exit point is very, very important sign that can save or uh, rescue you in a uh, dangerous situation. Second, we have a directional sign. We visit some new space, a new city. We most important know the where is the uh, direction I need to go. So the moving toward a final destination is the sign of the directional. <clears throat> so in the same time, we in the uh, in interior space, we need to tell the visitor where is the entrance, where is the uh, some uh, supporting or uh, uh, functional rooms. Or maybe you are in the hospital or clinic. The direction is very important to tell you where you need to go. <clears throat> Here is uh, some uh, counters and, and the better uh, example. When we arrive the uh, elevator, we need to know which floor has, has our destination or have some important information uh, beside the elevator. It's very important. However, we need to know this in the same time, the sign is a design of the space. It's not just only to tell the visitor uh, the uh, simple information. We need to let the visitor 
enjoy the space. So we need to have a, a visual, uh, a greeting visual. <clears throat> so we need to uh, cooperate the space design. Uh, for this example, we have an open stair on the right hand side. So we have a design on the left hand side to tell the uh, plane, uh, floor plane uh, around this uh, floor. <clears throat> On the other hand, I will me mention the uh, multiple material is very important on uh, uh, design in space. Now we can find some fibers uh, to show the tender or soft touch uh, in the space. On the wall, we, we can feel hot or cold, cold uh, uh, surface. However, we need a sign to change. Somehow we can feel some information in a soft uh, direction. <clears throat> well, I think it's a very important to design uh, that the visitor can feel different material in the space. Uh, the third I will mention is information sign. Yes, we all know the sign is provide the uh, information. However, we know too much information is no information. So must keep everything simple is uh, quite important. So some example is here. We need to get out parking, just like uh, vocabulary, uh, simple vocabulary, as simple as it, it can. On the street, we can see a lot of very similar sign uh, to tell the visitor to get the support. Maybe Wi-Fi here is uh, very important for these days, we need share the information. Without Wi-Fi, we cannot reach the world, don't we? <laughs> okay, the force, <coughs> we have some uh, regulatory signs. Regulatory sign is inform user to regulations and the requirement that are in place. Most driver will recognize the limit sign. Maybe it's uh, no parking here, or no smoking here, or no uh, smoking in the corner or in, in the building. <clears throat> Some regulation will save people's life too. So, now we see some sign to tell the fire hydrant to in case we got the fire to support the people to rescue the out of the fire. <clears throat> Here is a very interesting example I would like to provide some uh, uh, small <coughs> people model. <coughs> pop out the, the sign. It, maybe you will wonder how can it be that this way? I here we can have a very uh, short video to show how he did it. Uh, well, uh, why? Mm. Uh oh. It's not work now. Uh, maybe, wait a minute, wait a minute. Okay, professor. Uh, okay, here. Yes, I can get the link here. Okay, this is a, a vacuum former. Mm -hmm.
Okay, that's it. <clears throat> so we can show the same, uh, we can use the same technique to show the uh, little model or a little uh, sign in the 3D ways. It's very clear way to show how we can use the 2D dimensional information pop up to the, uh, to the paper as a 3D model. It's a good example for here. Now, the last one, I will introduce the intro, uh, installation art named uh, anomorphic illusions as a signage. Maybe you can uh, see a lot of example in the Pinterest, use this uh, uh, keywords to search. When you uh, type in the uh, number of phobic illusions as a signage, you can find a lot of example, especially uh, for some great uh, designers artworks. <clears throat> So later, I will pro provide another video uh, to, to tell how to do uh, uh, the real uh, design, use the uh, SketchUp. Maybe I have run out my time today, and maybe I can uh, provide another video uh, some other day. <clears throat> Okay, the second part, I will introduce the uh, signage design uh, principle. Uh, uh, same as the uh, graphic design, we got a uh, lots of design principle. Uh, before I start the design principle, I always will mention uh, students. We know some principle not to limit your crea creation. We just provide some direction to get you uh, from the beginning. If you don't like this principle, please forget about it. You can have a very freedom thinking mind to do your what you like. This principle just only suggestions, not your limitations. Okay, let's go the principles. <laughs> First one is uh, priority uh, legibility. Yes, the sign must have a legible. Without the legible sign, it will be pointless. So a good find, uh, wayfinding uh, signage will require your visible uh, technique. Maybe you cannot make the poor signage, it will hurt your business or your design works. <clears throat> so eligible sign make people feel confused or unsure. The, this, the weight, the fun weight can, uh, can afford or can kill your eligible too. So now I will suggest the regular weight, fun weight, will be legible than uh, bold or light. <clears throat> the second one, avoid visual cluster. Yes, how to organize your uh, artwork, maybe your point, your line, your area, or your color uh, spot. It's quite different to say what is good or what is not. However, we need you keep your overall design as simple as possible. To get your color, keep simple. People will get your idea very quickly. <clears throat> you don't want a pattern background to complicate, to affect the image from your uh, information. <clears throat> so I will like to introduce the uh, United States Sign Council Foundation suggests that a ratio of 40% content to 60% for the background. 
So now we have some example, avoid your visual cluster, a clutter. <clears throat> so you need a very simple uh, uh, font or words based on your very uh, tidy background. <clears throat> These are very good uh, sign words too. Have a very simple art space and it tell you the uh, the numbers second floor or third <clears throat> here we have a great <clears throat> museum so the museum have a this well designed uh, sign on the facade <clears throat> here is a another good design he can we can tell the uh, 2D design in the space can reveal a very special uh, feeling when you enter this space. Third, the third principle is please create a balance between text and graphics and think about the viewing distance. Uh, man, many, many conditions, artworks is very good for, uh, for our, uh, uh, our phone in a little, uh, in a small screen. However, the same design or same artwork is not appropriately in the space. It will be too small to recognize how the words say. So, must consider the situation in space. What the visitor uh, have the <clears throat> distance between your artwork and the, the visitor. So effect signs will strike a comfortable uh, balance between words and the image. <clears throat> Here is some example too. Uh, create a balance between text and graphics and the thing about the viewing distance is quite uh, important principle. <laughs> Actually, we need, we, we need to know a very simple principle is we read the words is slower than read the icon. So if you have some uh, simple icon, is very good or very appreciated to, to do so. We have a locker icon here and the, the man or woman icon in the toilet. The fourth principle will be use appropriately construct colors. Actually, when I teach the uh, basic design principle, the color always the most important element in the uh, in the class, and many students reflect the diff difficulty to me is how can I know the color is good or not? Actually, it's a quite different, a uh, difficult to the beginner designer. So I, so I will tell you. Maybe practice is good teachers. Do as many times as you possible to change others uh, practice. You can tell a lot of, uh, please wait a minute. <laughs> Sorry, some other people intruded my <coughs> alert. Okay, uh, so back to the colors. I will uh, suggest a good uh, practice colors. And may maybe you need to skip out your uh, comfort zone. What does that mean? If you are uh, living in a, a city, I will suggest you to go outside the countryside to visit a quite different scene around your hometown. If you are living in the mountainside, 
or countryside, please to visit a very, very busy city. That will change your uh, uh, used to the things. It will change you the color uh, feeling or uh, uh, customer's uh, lifestyle. Then you will reorganize the color to you for every kind of situation. So learning the color, you need the environment. To visit uh, <coughs> far away from your hometown is a good start. So have you ever looked at the piece of print material or even website of thought? Warm the color is a good idea. So combination is uh, uh, too complicated is hurting your eyes. Instead, not all colors pay nicely together. So you need to experience a lot of different composition of the color. <clears throat> Let's see some example here. <clears throat> I actually uh, very uh, favorite the orange color in the in interior space because the orange is not quite alert like red. However, it's not too cold as blue. So the orange is my favorite color in the interior, but not for everyone. You can find your favorite color in the, around your space. <clears throat> Another one is uh, wood color. It can make people back to the nature and feel some comfortable situation in the interior. <clears throat> Excuse me. <clears throat> so, however, you cannot uh, use uh, too many uh, simple, uh, too many uh, low contract color. You need some spot so blue color in front of uh, orange is a good choice <clears throat> in the direction uh, size design example here is a very contrast from red to red green maybe it's very strong you can accept it or not it's up to you <clears throat> the uh, Fourth principle is the font. Actually, uh, the graphic design font is second important element uh, during the uh, basic design principle. Yes, it's quite different to choose what kind of font to fit my purpose. Another, uh, here I have the same principle is uh, suggestion is choose your font as you can as possible to visit the uh, good website is a uh, Google font. They will uh, here will suggest a lot of different fonts from you. You can see a lot of different kind of fonts to see different feeling around you. So if you use a lot of fonts, you can familiar a lot of different feeling to deal with your design. <clears throat> so don't afraid about the font. Just keep going trying, keep going to uh, visit different kind of fonts. And actually, when you apply to the design, you need to keep the fonts simple. Don't use too many kinds, different fonts in one design. To let the design have a simple font is quite different and quite important. Okay, we can see a lot of example here. And very obviously, the font and, and the scale near to the human body is quite 
obviously and quite stunning design. <clears throat> Actually, we have a lot of uh, situation will keep the uh, fonts to easy to read. Maybe some uh, <clears throat> different kind of weight is well affect or uh, to tell which one is good for your design. Uh, again, I will suggest a lot of different uh, material to apply on the uh, font design. There, there are many uh, quite good uh, famous design use a lot of different material use on the, uh, maybe it's a stream or uh, maybe rubber is, is quite uh, similar to, to do the uh, soft design, just like this one. <clears throat> okay, the last one. I think I will run out my time very quickly. The last one I will suggest must be true to your design or to your brand. Even if you don't have a branding style guide, for your business. Maybe you're not quite sure what the brain is, is good or not. But however, you need to have a instant or a true viewing to, to your design need. Just for example, this is a logo for talk show. Our, um, in my opinion, he quite smart to use the different kind of uh, shapes to show the sound waves, to show the sound waves to explore in front of the, uh, the design to further, further, further to far away and fade out away the space. It's a quite good design example here. So, I suppose some uh, good design in this page is uh, if you have a good uh, restaurant or hotel, you need to, to find some material or shapes or uh, icons to tell what your hotel brain is. Maybe it's a quite cute or quite friendly the abstract idea must have your uh, come, come to your mind. Then you can apply the friendly or cute design uh, in this in this works works. And <clears throat> another example is uh, okay illustration. They will tell you uh, uh, more about that. <clears throat> And we can see a lot of 2D uh, in, a, in a plain design into space. It's quite interesting to uh, make uh, illu illusions in a space. However, some students have difficult to say, to uh, do this kind of uh, design. So I will uh, suppose my my way, um, my alternative to everybody. <clears throat> Another good example is the shading. Shading is an art and the shading can be designed too. So here we can see a lot of good design and you have the uh, words and the shapes uh, do from the shading. And here we can do a good and the very tiny pieces to tell you here is the for gentleman toilet. And now we have a room number 551. And this, the same thing is used the uh, shading in front of the wall. <clears throat> so I must 
mentioned here is this is creative artworks, not just do some shapes on the uh, in the space. You must open your mind and uh, and uh, set you yourself free, set your mind free to think what else I can do different. Don't follow my suggestion only, please. <laughs> so the last one I will <laughs> follow the James suggestion is what the practice will be. Here is the practice suggestion. It's high time for your turn. Find a small uh, commercial space. Maybe it's a dental clinic or face or body salon. I don't know. Just nearby you is good. So you can design a signage to define a brand, maintain visual design or main visual spot of the space or the identification of key rooms and these three rooms, maybe it's a good choice. What's the outcomes? Maybe outcome is for two kinds of students. For graphical design students, I would suggest is the poster design. However, for the uh, interior design students, I will suggest you can do some architecture model or some drawings, maybe perspective view or Flow plane or sections is good. Or maybe you are not quite familiar with these artworks. You can do what you whatever you like that's inspired by this show class. The last one, maybe I run out my time. So I will provide another video to, to do how can I use the uh, SketchUp tools to show, I can do a, a quickly demo uh, in uh, five minutes. Wait a minute. <laughs> Here is the, this, uh, the uh, from the beginning uh, the setting, every kind, uh, everybody can see is a plain, uh, Two, uh, two circles in the in the sides in the in front. So, in the <coughs> SketchUp, you can locate your uh, camera. Use these tools. Locate camera from here to uh, no no no, sorry. Again, from here to this direction. And now we can tell the eye height, well, 150 centimeters. And then this is our viewpoint from this direction. So I have a very simple uh, design, three kind of uh, uh, circles. And then we know our view is a, is a cone, right? So I will suggest two copy this to here. So you can bring the purple circle into the uh, middle, the, the, the center, and make the coin like this. So you have the coin here, but however, my coin, the purple coin is on the left hand side. So you need to rotate the corn in uh, the line, just like this one. <clears throat> so you can rotate your corn from here to here, just, uh, just like this. So when you rotate the right direction, please duplicate in the space and ungroup the corn to intersect with the walls of the space. Then you will get, I must to uh, 
disable this. So you can see the intersect curve is right here. So you can uh, give some purple color in this space. The same kind, the, the same thing, you have another cone in color green. And not, uh, again, to intersect with the walls, then you can get the same situation with the, I can delete this one, yeah. So see, you can get the same curves, intersection curves. You can get the intersection curves on the wall. So you got, finally, you will got the uh, final artworks. It's just like uh, here, right? This is my finished works. It's a real space in front of us. And we go back to the front. We will see the right shapes. See, it's the great final shapes into the uh, three colors. So, Sorry, I run out of my time. I will pro propose a, a new video to step by step, very clear, clearly to show everybody how to make this works. Thank you. Thank you, everyone. This is my old speech. Thank you. Okay, thank you, <laughs> Professor Son, for your great presentation. Thank you, thank you. Thank you, thank you. So you will be shared to audience about the video right bro yes yes <laughs> okay okay uh you still have time professor right uh now we move no. to the okay I, professor pardon i i have very important meeting to my boss my president so oh. i need to go now sorry okay sorry. okay sorry. very very sorry yeah it's okay so we don't have q, q and i quit q and i session right Five minutes, maybe five minutes. Okay, five, five minutes. minutes. Okay, maybe everyone. Minutes. Okay, I will uh, give you five minutes to ask question to Professor Sean. Maybe only one student, maybe in auditorium or in offline, uh, in online. If you have question, please quickly ask your question to here because Professor only have five minutes to <laughs> sorry, answer sorry. your question. <laughs> okay. Do you have any question for audience in online or in auditorium or in class IDB Bali? If you have any question, just uh, open your mic and ask your question or just type in chat room. I think the participant here are quite interested with your <laughs> presentation, Professor. So, uh, Maybe they just try to uh, build, organize uh, <laughs> what kind of designing space or organize and uh, yes. what kind of designing space that they want to uh, make it in the future. Yes. And also, as Professor Son said, uh, the participant here have a practice suggestion, right, Professor? Yes. In yes. short class. Yes. Okay. Uh, I would like to uh, repeat again. You need yeah. you you uh, you guys have to find a small commercial space, yeah. uh, for example, dental clinic, space and body salon or something else, yes. and then try to design science to divine the first yeah. one, the brain, main entrance visual design, main yes. visual spot of the space, and yeah. identify the uh, of key rooms. Yeah. Okay, for uh, graphic student design, graphic design students. Uh, mm -hmm. Maybe the outcome is uh, like a poster design in, yes. in A3 or A2 format, right, Prof? Yes, sure. Okay. Yes. And yes. for interior design students, 
uh, the outcome uh, should be uh, architectural model model and some drawings uh, yeah. uh, such as prospect view, floor plan sections, and etc. Okay. Yeah. Mm -hmm. So uh, that is the sort uh, maybe kind of homework, not yeah. homework, but the sort <laughs> class that you want to uh, yeah. make it, right, Professor? Yeah. So uh, on 11, uh, Ju uh, July 11, you will yeah. show yeah. to us uh, the best one. Okay. Right, Prof? Mm, yeah. Okay. I think uh, no question, everyone, because Professor Sean already have a meeting with our president. <laughs> Ah, sorry, 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 sorry. I know it's okay, Professor. Okay, uh, because no one here to ask a question, maybe in the future, if you have any question, just uh, call Mr. James or other student, other teacher in, in IDB Bali or Bodiluhur University. If you have any question, I will, I will send to Professor Sean to ask the question and answer quickly this uh, yeah, sure, uh, sure. question. Good, it's good. Mm. Okay. Thank you so okay, much, thank Professor you. Sean. But before sorry. I close, uh, it's sorry, okay. Sorry. Before I sorry, close sorry. this session, uh, yeah, yeah I would, maybe I would like uh, have uh, uh, I have a conclusion. Okay. In your Good. in your presentations, yeah, <laughs> just <laughs> just a simple words. Okay. Maybe we can say the best sign aid is in, is in the right place, at the right time, and also consider the viewers. And it's neither overly perspective nor demanding. So, uh, science uh, in visual communication design or for graphical graphic design or interior design is uh, maybe we can uh, consider about the viewers uh, and also uh, people can read our our work because uh, we are need to hear and to be heard, see and be seen, touch and be touched. That is to communicate our below humans. So that's a fundamental uh, design that we need to provide in our uh, future work, in our our maybe in our design works. Okay. Okay, that's uh, that's all from me from the conclusion. Maybe because uh, Professor Sean already shared uh, his knowledge to us. Thank you. Uh, Thank about you. the white finding designs and also the principal design that we need to uh, remember when we design something, we need to um, uh, consider about principal designs. Okay, Professor Sean, uh, uh, finally. Thank you for yeah. your wonderful conclusion. Ah, wonderful. Sure. Thank you. Your wonderful Thank you. presentation also. Thank you. Okay. Thank you. Finally, now we have reached the end of the presentation. I would like to say thank you to the speaker, Professor Sean, and also for all the audience in here in the auditorium and also online who already uh, joined us uh, from the start until the end of uh, this event. And also the committee that uh, held this event, uh, it's, it, it's an awesome journey for me to uh, show, uh, to share to you guys uh, our, uh, uh, yeah, uh, this event. Mm -hmm. Okay, thank you for your thank attention, you. and thank you. I will be back to uh, the event to the M to our MC, and I would like to say bye bye. Bye bye. I need to go thank now. You so thank, okay, you. thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you so much. Bye bye. So I will be back the event to MC. Hi MC, can you hear me? Hello, hello. Hello. Okay, thank you. Many thanks to, to Professor Shi and that very enlightening, enlightening presentation. Today we learn about identification design, directional sign, information sign, and what else? We've also learned about the regular, regular, regular designs, installation art, and the principle of signage. We'd also like to express our gratitude to Ms. Yuri for moderating our event today. Okay, guys, that's it for today's seminar. We would like to thank everyone for participating once again. We really appreciate your time here with us, and thank you, Professor Shi, for your time as well. I hope your experience and knowledge will help us young generation to be better designers. Once again, thank you so much for participating. Oke, okay, terima kasih banyak atas kehadiran kalian semua. 
uh, kepada para dosen, kepada para uh, apa namanya tamu undangan. Jangan lupa absen ya sebelum pulang sama Oke. Okay. Uh, Miss Yuri. Yes. Profesor sih udah Ya, yeah, dia soalnya apa ada ada meeting sama presiden saya. Oke. Okay. Ditutup secara online aja, Miss. Oke. Okay. Tadi pesan udah. Uh, offline-nya. Okay. Ini okay. masih uh, ada Pak Rektor dan Bu Rektor masih ada di ruangan. Oke, okay, uh, thank you, Professor. Thank you, Pak Ben. So, everyone in here will stay only in our event, Exotic. Uh, I would like to say thank you to all of you for joining our, our event. Uh, but you need to remember for our students, you need to uh, prepare your short class, prepare your homework, kind of homework. And... Uh, yeah, I would like to say thank you also to Budiluhur University and IDB Bali and also for all the participants here. Uh, yeah, that's all for me. Uh, I would close our... There's not others yeah. for Pak Ben? Nothing? Okay, thank no, you. No Miss take Yuri. picture together, right? Uh, mungkin diingatkan pakai bahasa Indonesia aja ya. Gak apa-apa ya. Oh, okay. Jadi diingatkan ke... Uh, ada teman-teman yang ikutan seminar kali ini nanti ada seminar lagi tanggal 11 uh, oh. itu lebih ke pembahasan karya-karya yang disubmit jadi teman-teman yang uh, hadir hari ini silahkan mengerjakan tugasnya kemudian uh, nanti akan disubmit ke ke panitia ya. nanti di linknya akan di share di instagram Nah, kemudian uh, link submit-nya ya, Google Drive-nya. Kemudian uh, akan dipilih beberapa karya, karena uh, kalau dinilai semua akan akan kelamaan, kata si profesornya. Ini akan dikomentari, akan diasistensi beberapa karya uh, yang menurut dia uh, menarik. gitu. Nah, nanti reward-nya mungkin akan dipamerin atau uh, bagaimana tergantung si profesornya nanti seperti itu. Begitu juga Pak Wendy, terima kasih banyak Pak Wendy atas kehadirannya. Sukses semua. Oke, okay. terima kasih Bu Yori. Terima kasih Pak Wendy, terima kasih. Pak Wendy. Terima kasih. Ya, sama-sama. Yori, sukses semuanya, jaga kesehatan. Ya, Pak. Bu Rektor IDW Bali masih ada? Udah, udah itu ya, udah keluar? Dari Sepertinya rumah. sudah keluar Pak. Okay. Sudah, semuanya jaga kesehatan. Terima kasih, Baik. Pak Wendy. Terima kasih, salam di luar, Pak Wendy. Ya, Olivia. Ya, ya Pak. Terima kasih, Pak. Baik, uh, sekian mungkin uh, teman-teman silahkan mulai membayang-bayangkan. Kalaupun misalnya masih bingung uh, dan pengen mengerjakan tugasnya, nanti bisa datang ke kampus, kita bisa ngobrol bareng gitu ya. Mungkin seperti itu ya, Bu Yeri ya. ya. Terima kasih banyak, Bu Yeri. Terima kasih banyak uh, teman-teman semua. Assalamualaikum warahmatullahi wabarakatuh. Uh, terima kasih buat admin. Silahkan di close room-nya, Pak. Terima kasih semuanya. Salam budi luhur. Assalamualaikum warahmatullahi wabarakatuh. Saya di ya. ya. Terima kasih kembali.